Good morning! Oh, hit something. Good morning, world! Welcome your faces to the selection of t-shirt we're going to wear today. We could wear Syndicate Original, but today we're changing it up and we're wearing a panda bear raiding an elephant because why the hell not? Well, it's official. I look like I'm in a boy band with these grey silver tips in my hair. Ah. Hillary is coming from 3BD to the house today because I got a package I just got dropped off. I'm going to try and scare her. <laughs> oh, what the hell? You ain't even scared at all. I've been going through every single box here trying to find the package that I've been sh supposed to be showing you guys for friggin' days and I finally found it. Are you ready? Oh, would you just look at that shield? Yes, that's damn right. This is a brand new NVIDIA shield. So, NVIDIA, I'm getting so much swag right now. All these packages, all this sort of stuff, but I have been given the brand new NVIDIA Shield. Not only am I going to be streaming with it on Sunday, so Sunday, be there 12 noon, I'm going to be streaming off this, like one of the first people to do that. It's going to be absolutely epic. But what's even more epic is that in that stream, I'm going to be giving away one of these bad boys to you. Right, I'm going to show you. We're going to, we're going to take a look inside and see what it's all about. Oh, would you just look at this new stuff? Okay, come on now. This, don't make me do a Casey Nissan and friggin' rip the thing open. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at my reflection in this bad boy. I thought it was gonna be bigger. Well, let's take all these brand new stickers off. Oh my goodness me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first look for me at the NVIDIA Shield. Ooh. Now basically, what this thing allows you to do, just to give you a summary of people wondering, this, you can stream games from the cloud to this bad boy, like all like Epic Games, like Witcher 3, all sorts of games like you know Saints Row, that's what I'm going to be playing on Sunday. And you can basically stream it from the cloud, but not only can you stream the games and not have to install them or anything like that, what you have to do, like with a disc I mean install it, all you have to do is download them and then you can stream it to Twitch so one of you guys can win this bad boy. So all you got to do, super simple, is you need a Twitter account, I'm going to put a link down in the description, go to the tweet, it's my tweet, and all you got to do is retweet it and make sure you follow NVIDIA on Twitter. That is pretty much it. If you guys want to win an epic NVIDIA shield, then you can do. Click that link down below, check it out, and I'm going to be announcing the winner of the shield on Sunday in the live stream. So, 12 o'clock at California time, 6 p.m. UK time. Be there, be square, and you'll win yourself one of these bad boys. Maybe, hopefully. Are you going to win? Hmm. This is going to make no sense to absolutely everyone, but I just have to give a big shout out to Declan, the Scottish fella. He knows who he is. Not Deck, Ginger Deck, that you guys know that I have to blame Deck all the time and know him. I'm talking about a Scottish guy called Deck. I'm in LA. He's in Scotland. You know who you are, you fabulous person. I hope your shit tomorrow burns like hell after eating that chili pepper. Goodbye. I totally know this bag is for gaming laptops and stuff, but what I've just realized is that my Loot Crate can fit perfectly. <laughs> like, shout out to Loot Crate, can fit perfectly. Wait for it. In the laptop slot. So every time I get a loot crate once a month, I can just put it in there. Yeah! So I'm going to film my next unboxing of my loot crate video, and I have the perfect guest. I'm going to keep it surprised who my next guest is to do it with. But my two cameras that are good cameras to record with have zero battery, and I mean zero battery is in. They don't have a battery inside them. I left it in the UK. So we're going to Best Buy, me and Hill Dog. Me and Hill Dog, going to, we're gonna go get a new battery. Hopefully they make it, otherwise I'm actually gonna have to get a new camera. I had to do that last time because it's like a specific battery. Forge! Well, that's what happens when you know you're having a bad day. Jane the Virgin. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun. What? <laughs> yeah. So she didn't have sex and she had a baby. Yeah. She was is that not the basic the story of Jesus? She was excellent. When I'm in LA, that is my favorite store to drive past because it's just got signs and props of all sorts of shit. Look at that. It's like a half naked statue with her titties hanging out. And would you look at her? Guys, I cannot fucking believe this. I'm sat in the car with Hillary. We've been stuck in traffic for like a fucking hour. And as I'm driving along, Everyone's tweeting me saying, Tom, you won't believe it. Sonia's just unboxed a knife. Sonia has fucking never bought a knife in her life or anything like that and spent like hardly any money on cases, probably like a couple hundred dollars on it, on it. And she's got two fucking knives. She's just unlocked a brand new tiger tooth. Like, cra uh, like cramp it, fucking with it. I don't fucking know what it is. All I'm saying is that she's got a knife, whereas I've spent $3,000 and not got one. 
Hillary, I need a knife. I need a fucking knife or someone's gonna die. So we've just traveled all the way across town to try and find an NB13L camera, okay? Just saying, I've got here and I've, I've been talking to everyone, couldn't find anything, but if you look here, NB12L, you think that's the same? Psych, NB13L, that is exactly what I need. I like how LA is so compact that there's a Best Buy right here, and then as soon as you look across the road, in the middle of downtown LA, there's a goddamn cement mixing plant. I just don't even know. Oh my god, just look at this city and all that traffic. Holy shit, man. I feel like we're in a Batman film. I don't know what music that is, but there's some hella fucking mirrors up there. Whoa, check the elevator. Yeah. Nice. More traffic. And more traffic. And Hillary. Yeah. And there is the GTA blimp in the sky. The Goodyear blimp. Oh yeah. Let's go. All right, what? so I'm about to play my first game of Risk. Risk. I don't know the rules, so you're gonna have to teach me, but I'm now, Shelby dropped out, so I'm taking his place. Who's winning? Angel. Okay, so the more players that you've got, the better. Yes. All right, sweet. Fucking ready, let's do this. Okay, so I know how to play Risk. Alan, give me first bump. We might be connecting teams we here, that's what I'm saying. Allies. All right, we're allies. So I've got South America here, and, no, South Africa, not America. No, it's I've, just Africa. Okay, all right. So I've just got Africa. You can cl tell I'm clearly good at this, but I've got this bad boy over here. I'm in Egypt, I'm in East Africa, South Africa, man, I've got a little bit up here, but I've w got one dude on Great Britain. I'm thinking of bombarding Britain with like 20 troops and just holding that for the entire game and just waiting to see if I can hold everyone up, but we'll have to wait and see. Rally the troops. We are coming for, wait, where are we attacking? I'm blue. I'm trying to take over Europe right now, but Asia, it's not a racist thing. Has a goddamn prominent <laughs> landing over here. Whereas Angelo is doing pretty goddamn well in America. And you're just doing really bad. I'm what sorry. are you talking about? Bro, got... no one can see your clothes on the board. Okay. What? You're not even looking. Yeah, we, we, no South one cares America. about that. Okay, we, we're about to... Angelo's going to invade this bitch. I'm sorry, you don't fall. I lost at risk, but Alan won, and we were partners. So, technically, we won the World War. Fuck yeah to you. So, I played a game of CSGO, but the Wi-Fi in this building was complete, the hell's still here? It was complete atrociousness, to the point where we lost the game massively. I got disconnected three times, and I probably am not going to rank up now in CSGO, so I cry every time. I'm going to kill myself with a plunger. Ugh. I'm the last person left at the 3BD office. Angelo's going out for, like, a birthday thing, but we're going to meet up for drinks afterwards. So, what I'm doing right now is editing together the... Uh, not vlog, um, what's it called? The unboxing video of Luke Quake, but I've been starting here shakingly hungry because I haven't eaten all day. And uh, I just got myself some fucking sushi. This is why America is amazing. Because look at this. You can get full meals, full cooked meals delivered to your door. So I know sushi isn't cooked, but you can usually get like steak, salmon, all sorts of stuff. Man, Eat24 is the homies. I also thought I'd take a risk and see if this place because they also did Chinese food as well as Thai, if they do good salt and pepper. Now that salt and pepper mix looks like it's right. Does it taste like salt and pepper? That is pretty goddamn close to the UK salt and pepper chicken pieces that I get, but this time it's wings, so meh. Don't like the bones, but still really good. Well, I think it's pretty sacrilegious if you get sushi. Jesus Christ, the laptop's taken off. I'm rendering a video and I've got it sat on like a mat so it shouldn't be on that, but it should be on the surface. But you should never eat sushi. Our Chinese food, in my opinion, regardless of figure food, you can eat ribs and stuff, but you should never eat it without chopsticks. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Can I have a refund? Okay, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. It was supposed to be spicy tuna, and it tastes like sweet mush. Wow. Well, the thing is though, like, there's a lot of people who make video games, but there's also like some people who can just play video games for a living, you know? Some people play it like competitively, like Call of Duty, League of Legends, and they earn a, like a living off that. 
and then these people who just play video games and then record themselves playing it and put it on YouTube and then them guys make a career off just playing it and having other people watch them so it's a very very awesome industry to get into but if he's going to get into you know graphic design and stuff like that then oh yeah definitely encouraging the entire way I feel so grown up and stuff I just got my first bill for my apartment and I'm sending it to my post so yeah I'm gonna go post it and be a grown up I guess kind of weird but however this this right here this it's a banging tune. Time for a late night live stream. Gonna chill back, play some CSGO. Well, I say chill back, gonna kick back, play some CSGO, and hopefully for Jesus Christ. And hopefully for the love of God, rank up. I'm dying for my AK. Ladies and gentlemen, I decided to go and unbox some cases. <laughs> and I did it! I can't even right now. I unboxed the most ugly knife that is ever known to man. I opened, how many cases did we open since I started streaming? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I have spent over $3,000 on trying to get a knife and I own fucking box, a bayonet rust coat. What the fuck is going on with the world? Well guys, it is 5.40, nearly 6 a.m. in the morning. Going to bed, just got my CSGO reaction video, so that was hilarious. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, sorry, I've just done my workout. I'm absolutely fucking tired as shit. <sighs> Everyone keeps coming like, how does he stay in shape? Literally just work out before I go to bed every single day, that's it. One day I will wake up and just be extremely fat and be like, oh, that's where it all went wrong. But basically, hope you guys had a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, Sunday, tomorrow from this vlog, I'm going to be doing the NVIDIA live stream at 12. So be there, giving away the NVIDIA shield. So that's going to be epic. You get to win it. All you got to do is retweet something. And that's about that. So I will see you guys faces tomorrow. Have a great day. I'm going to pass out in bed and the sun's about to come through the curtains. I mean, blinds. So, yeah. Good night.